So what do you do when you want to sell to clients and you know there are competitors out there who are way cheaper than you are? My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help solopreneurs build a business, uh, especially women. I hear this a lot, um, that there are cheaper uh, people out there and that's the same with me. There are more expensive business coaches than me and there are cheaper business coaches than me. Will they offer the same thing? No. Are they the same person? No. Do they have the same experience? No. So I don't really worry about who else is out there. Okay, I must admit I have not heard that reason, which is not to say that it, it's not there, because maybe they didn't tell me that reason. I want to give you an example. Uh, when I was 18 or 20 and I had to pay for my own driving lessons, at the time we had the Gilder, not the Euro, and um, it was average 40 guilders an hour and I was calling uh, a few uh, from the yellow pages and um, one of them said uh, it's 42 guilders an hour which is two more and you, you need quite a lot of hours and I had to pay them out of my own money I wasn't working at the time I was still studying I was studying sports and um, so I, the guy answered and I said, well, how much do you charge for your driving lessons? And he said, uh, 42. And I said, thank you. I wanted to hang up the phone and put on my list 42 and not wanting to work with them. And then he said, but is that all you want to know? And I said, well, why? Because price matters. And he said, yes, but compared to what? Um, we have uh, uh, an average of so many people passing their exam and succeed, which was higher than the normal level. He said, um, we are um, uh, with an association, so we, uh, we are being regulated. So I knew when I would not have been happy, I could, there was an uh, institution to complain. So, so, and we had a conversation and he said, uh, well, what, what is it that you want? What is it that you have in mind? And this is what I said. And he said, well, we can do all of that. So is the two guilders an hour really such a big issue? It wasn't, but that was my mindset. And he completely changed my mind and flipped my mind. And I started taking my driving lessons with him. It was a nice person. I always looked forward to it. Um, he was as professional to me in the driving lessons as he was to me on the phone. So um, even when people are in the cheap mode, it doesn't mean that you cannot alter their thoughts. Um, so is it always, yes, it's always true that there are people out there who are cheaper than you, but it's up to you to position yourself towards your ideal clients. Why are you the ideal person for them to go to? Why in America, it's very common to say you should not go to such and such and such because such and such and such. In my country, that is not allowed. We are not allowed to bash other people in our ads. Uh, they can sue you uh, for harassment, but you can still um, position yourself so much better than towards the competition. So how I do that is with the amount of years experience I have, with our branding, um, with our website, with um, uh, the vast experience that I have. So, so what is it that you can do? Now, if you just start and you don't have all these things to offer, yeah, maybe it is wise to not build a high price, uh, ask a high price initially. Yeah, I'm not saying you should stay doing that. I always say to my clients, if you sold something three times for a specific price, raise your fees. You don't have to wait until the new year to raise your fees because your confidence level grows with um, your, your, your skills. So you, the more you start to sell something for a higher price than you think you can, 
you start to feel more confident about it. So, should you worry about your competition? Yes, you should check them out thoroughly and you should see where are you better. That's what matters. So, it's important to check your competition, but do not have that have a big influence on your mind. Do not have that determine how you're going to feel about yourself, about your service towards your client. That is what's most important. So I hope you've learned something. Now I'm doing these training videos every week and you can see all of them on my YouTube channel, Powerful Business Academy. So don't forget to subscribe because then you'll be the first to know when there is a new video and you won't miss out of anything. And when you are on my YouTube channel, or if not, if you just see one of these videos, there's hundreds of these kinds of videos. So you can see how much experience I have about every topic in scaling and growing your business. Every topic. I don't niche. I don't say this is where I'm good at. No, I am good at helping you with everything you need. So you won't need to go to any other person. Do you want to write a book? I've written a couple of books and took quite a few uh, book courses. And I have editors in my uh, network. Do you want to be on stage? I've been on stages all over the world. I've spent a lot of money in training. And I know what it uh, takes. Do you want to scale and grow your business? I know how that works. Do you want to position yourself? You know, name it. And I know this is what marketeers says, uh, say I shouldn't, uh, you should niche, but my niche is that I can help you with everything and you don't need to go anywhere else. So why don't you schedule a quick 15 minute call with me to check me out? Um, maybe I can help you, maybe not. In the 15 minute calls, I'm not selling you, it's just checking each other out. Do you like me? Are you convinced that I can help you? Do you need some help with something? Do you need clarification on where you want help with? No matter what you have, just schedule that 15 minute call. And I'll be seeing you next week with a different topic on how to scale and grow your business from solopreneur to business owner. Bye bye.